Alright guys, so what's up though? I'm finally back though today. Got a really, really, really good definitely have a video I wanna do. Uh, no, I'm gonna say, what's up? Bravo! Um, yeah, sorry about my camera being a little bit lackeyed out today. But we did get some new info, of course, for Kefla. We got her Doka Fest teaser. We have everything for her. It should've been Kel and Kuli Vaughn here. It should've been, it would've been way perfect. But, um, they tend to get all like, from the super attacks or transformations and stuff like that. Gonna hit this video really fast though because there's so much stuff to go over for Kefla herself. This is her Doka Fest teaser. Looks nice. Looks great. Always does that. Um, sorry about my lighting for the camera. I can't really help that right now. But, um, I know I did a video for Dragon Ball Legends, like everything for their anniversary and stuff like that. I have that video recorded. I have it ready to upload, ready to go. I, just, I might upload it a different day because um, I don't want to drop too many videos on the same day. Because it's just like going back and forth. Um, also, we are getting new Infinite Dragon Ball history stages, which is great. Probably Universe X things, but we really have been getting these a lot lately. Boss Rush has been kind of dry though, but like, you know, they're trying to focus on other content. Because Boss Rush, no, it's not dry or anything like that. We had to wait for certain Doka Fest, not certain Doka Fest to release, but you know, we had to wait for like, you know, Doka Fest to release. And stuff like that, there has to be a set amount of cutoff date and stuff like that for that. So, I don't know. I mean, it, it, touching on the other events are still great though, like, giving it Dragon Ball history. Um, plus, I already know we'll be doing like stuff for the five year anniversary for Global anyway, so that's kind of cool. And of course, on um, the Universe X story event, is getting exclusive equipment and stuff like that, like um, the new Goku Day event. Um, also, um, um, it says um, either of his characters will be attained from the stage, stuff like that. I guess more new characters. Probably the Vados, because I know it's the free play Vados. Um, not free play Vados, but I know it's the new Vados, probably coming with the banner, because they wouldn't do two free play UV units. I heard that's coming as well. There's a whole bunch of new stuff that's just coming for Kefla. Um, and I didn't say stuff too for probably the title of the video. I don't know what I posted it anyway. Um, but yeah, Universe 6 Story event is getting a revamp. Not re re revamp, but it's getting more stages. And of course, we're getting Universe 6 equipment. You know, again, the character equipment and stuff like that. Probably for like Kefla, Kale, and Khalifa. They're going to be insane. They're already good. So yeah, we have um, Kefla's info right here, of course. Um, let me make zoom in a little bit more for Kefla or so. But yeah, we got Kefla, of course. We have our um, transformation like passive. We have our full details. Everything for Kefla. Everything, everything, everything for her. I'm going I'm to start saying that though. But yeah, um, that's really good for Kefla. She's STR though, by the way. They did not need it because we got UI Goku and Blue Gogeta. Like STR, they don't need a good unit for another good year. Um, Like really, they don't. They, they really don't. So, of course, right here, we have the tech kill. She's getting her awakening. She didn't really need it. Again, though, you guys did not need it because, uh, <laughs> hey, I already know the other one, Kale. Man, that art looks so awesome. You guys don't know. Woo! Man, that art looks so awesome. You guys already know about it. You already know it. Um, but yeah, she's getting her Duck and Awakening as well. Go go over all the full details and everything like that, of course. Like I always do, no matter what. Um, then no bottles. We're getting a new bottles for here as well. Um, again, though, looking nice, looking great, and stuff like that. I feel like she's gonna be more of a bear unit, not a, um, not like a free play unit, but she is. I mean, because we already have a free play Vados anyway, so it really wouldn't make sense. We get like a Vados and we get another one from here. Like, or her Doka, it's not Doka Awakening because she's Int, so yeah, that basically is like a new one. But again, though, they did not need Awakening. They really did not. They were already good before anyway, so I don't know. They really didn't need it, in my opinion. But of course, after that, we have um, the. Uh, of course, they were just on feature on the. I would mention, though, they were just featured on the Goku um, UI Goku banner because this is the UI Goku banner for Global. You got to know it's been trading the last few days and stuff like that, so. Yeah, I, need, I have a couple of no videos like Talon, Rush, uh, everybody's. I'm so freaking far behind on videos, so I just. Because I've been just working on my videos myself. I have a lot of videos. I have like, what, 100 plus like to edit, so. Yeah, hopefully, you guys can stay tuned for some of those pre recorded videos I recorded about 50 years in the past. So, yeah, we're going over um, Kale. Her new Doku Awakening form of can I have it right here? Um, no, actually, I didn't actually, actually let me reset it real quick. Um, not this one. Um, we got Kale, of course, the beautiful goddess herself. Um, so she does, um, Pure Saiyans, okay, so we're just got a little bit of a buff, so yeah, Pure Saiyans and Peppy Gals Key 3, everything at 120, Super Attack, where's the deck? Okay, basically what she did before, just update it a little bit. Um, okay, really, really, freaking, really, again, oh, uh, something's freaking ads popping up everywhere. Um, so it's her passive because they're losing stuff like that. They just buff up a little bit. So attack and defense plus eighty percent, and attack and defense plus ten percent for Peppy Gals, percent or Peppy Gals category ally on the team. For an additional super attack. Okay, they basically just buffed up a little bit stuff like that. So includes Kali Flo. Did you do it before? Let me see. Yeah, she. That's new. That's definitely new. So yeah, her passive is completely new and stuff like that now. Um, I, I, mean, I know. I definitely know. I saw it. Oh yeah, she oh, her passive is completely different now. Q3, everything up with 120. Because it was 80 before. Yeah. Super attack causes supreme damage, raise attack and defense. Supreme damage and lowers defense. Doesn't really do that much nowadays. Um attack and puts attack and defense was 80% and um, another attack and defense was 80% for all pure and pivot category allies. Pure Saiyans and Pivot Gals allies 
category allies on the team before there's an additional super attack when there is a universal survival cycle or Christian's category enemy um, um, guards activated and gets all attacks that there's um ally has killed um clues attack in the same turn. Uh, oh that's um yeah clues attack in the same turn. So basically it's her world tournament counterpart, I wanna say. That's what she basically is her world tournament counterpart. So she has same yeah she basically yeah she's basically that she again though she could be broken as she was before raising attack defense getting more additional super attacks. Many versions of LR killing Clefo they always do this no matter what so um yeah. So yeah, um, same lineage, same warrior race, battlefield divas, rival duo, you know, warriors of universe six, turn by power, fierce battle. Oh, she gets fierce battle. Oh yeah, she does duck like it for the new capital medals. Universe of Bible Saga, universe six, pure sands, puppy gals, and rapid growth. So yeah, that is in the category capital is actually going to lead on um, JP right now. Ra um, rapid growth. So basically, I feel like bros are going to be definitely be on there. Um, of course, Kales, Khalifas, Kaplas. Who else will be on there? Pibic Kaba. Oh no, just that category has so much potential. There's so much stuff that they can do with that category. Okay, Khalifa, she basically does the same thing, just for universe six. Uh her list go just yeah, her same thing, just probably Gal in universe six. I mean it's good though for the both of those teams. Uh, especially when we talk about heroes units, we can get like note and her like other Saiyan like girl counterparts. Oh no, I talked about heroes thing. I did I, I did I did do a discussion video for that. I haven't uploaded that yet. I have it ready to go, I just haven't uploaded it yet. Um again I'll record so many videos a day, so yeah. Raise attack and defense, cause supreme damage to defense, same thing. So basically, yeah, she's the same thing as Kale. Okay, basically same thing as Kale. Same length, same. Um, yeah, basically she's um Kale just attack int, including. Yeah, but she does evade super attacks. That's basically it for her. So I guess skip over her. That's super easy to go over though. So yeah. Um. Also, Vado, she's new. So she does universe six, keep us three, everything up one twenty. Spear damage and lowers attack. The seals and lowers attack. Stain that's disgusting. Kind of like Weiss. Um, but no, Weiss. Um, I like lowers attack and defense and seals. Tank defense plus um, 60% high chance of evading enemies' attacks. Um, universe 6, Realm of Gods, and Siblings, Bond, and Matthew and Student, Disciple category allies. Um, attack defense plus 20%. She randomly changes key first to a certain type to Rainbow if there is a Universe 6 category ally. Um, it's um, allied in the same turn, excluding herself. So, yeah, she has Innocence, Brainiacs, um, let me see, um, Brainiac, Shocking Speed, Cold Judgment, Rival Duo, Godly Power, Fierce Battle. Her categories are Realm of Gods, Universe 6. Siblings Bond and of course my, um, Bond of Matron Disciple. She's gonna be good against, next week against Whis, so you want to use her against Whis and Universe Six category allies, of course. Uh, she's basically gonna be there, good over there, but she, again, she like she's buffing Realm of Gods, um, it's Universe Six, which kind of barely needed it anyway. This is a good um, update for Universe Six. Plus Pure Saiyans, again, the they did not. I mean, hopefully they'll be on Pure Saiyans. Kefal, then Kefal will be on Pure Saiyans. They barely need to do that. Like switch Kefal on Pure Saiyans, Gogeta, Vegeta on um, Pure Saiyans. Blue Fusion, all of them need to be on Pure Saiyans, because it doesn't really make sense. Oh yeah, it's like, oh yeah, it's balance, it's gaming, it really is it. Um, yeah, you have balance when you have two of the most broken units in the game, Gogeta and Vegeta Blue. Yeah, they're balanced alright, they can hit like, what, 5 million? Gogeta can hit 5 million, and Vegeta can get onslaught of super attacks, and like, especially with his equipment and stuff like that. That's not balance? That's not balance? That's not balance? Not balance! Um, but yeah, she's gonna be good for all those teams. She's gonna, gonna be a good support type unit, buffing for all those teams. She's insane though. She really is like a freaking destructive monster. She's gonna be good against Whis. Um, next to Whis. So the new Dr. Fest Kefla, of course, she does Universe 6. Great, new balance. Well, that's good for that. We already knew. I had a feeling she was gonna do Universe 6 anyway. Q3, attack everything up once, um, t um, yeah, stats 170. All rapid growth category, um, Key three stats up 150. They always do this with new category leaders. They always make the second, like their main um, new category, like 150. They always do it no matter what. So her super attack raises attack and causes immense damage and lower defense. Um, don't count Khalifa makes Kefla. I like that quote. Um, so her um, attack is okay. Yeah, so basically, just her base form. Okay, so yeah, because I know her passive she, she transforms. So I guess I'm going to first her edition when you get her, she'll be her base. Second rotation, she'll transform again. Then the third one will be, of course, Super Tank 2. Or we will probably be active skill. We don't know. I, I don't even know yet. Um, so yeah, attack uh, dang, defense was one. Uh, dang, defense was hundred and attack was hundred. That's a great one. Launching a super attack. That's gonna be the same. Gains additional attack plus fifty percent. The high chance of evading enemies' attacks when collecting six or more um, key spheres. Transforms with conditions are met. She transforms starting from the third turn. That's our battle. Oh no, she could be like gut change. She can't see her like transformation. Dang, three turns. Though. That's insane. We well, can't do like six rotation turns where you put them like in the third slot and then you like let them go off. Then they transform. That's um that's how you actually get boots on um, easy. Don't take the boots easy. Um, um transformation when you put them in the third slot. They will transform. So there are things are same warrior race, battlefield divas, fuse fighter, power still by God, universe six, through my power and fierce battle. She has a lot of categories. She's gonna be on uh, on all of these. I mean she's not on fierce saying that's stupid. They really need to change that. Her categories are rapid rapid growth. 
um, Universe 6, Peppy Gauss, Universal Survival Saga, Batara, Full Power, Transmission Boost, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, and Last of Us. She probably is going to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, she's on 10 games. She's about as good as go on. Like, she's going to go on with those teams. Again, you can make so many showcases. So, yeah, she's going to transform into the third turn. Her attack defense is going to be insane off the roof. She's gonna be um, tanking. Um, she basically is like Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Majin Vegeta, and kind of Janempa in a way. So yeah, she basically in Janempa and Super Saiyan 3 Goku were uh, they're effective against all types when they get a certain amount of key spheres, and they dodge. So yeah, she basically is that like, combined. Uh, so Super Saiyan form does raise attack, means the same thing. Um, so her passive change again. Yeah, she's gonna be a defensive and attack of Juggernaut. The attack and defense plus 150. Um, when launching a uh, super attack, gains additional attack plus 50%. High chance of any enemy's attack. When clicking suits or work keys first, she transforms again. Oh man, it says, um, upon entering um, the next attacking turn, and HP is 60% or above. That's not bad, but it could have been worse. It really could have been worse. 60% is actually really isn't that bad for a transformation. Like, I guess he has to be attacking in the next turn. And she just transforms because it is a transforming passive and stuff like that. So yeah, um, yeah, Saiyan Warrior becomes Super Saiyan. Um, Saiyan Warrior Race becomes Super Saiyan for her links because her links stuff like that do change. So it's pretty good though because she's like in Janipa and basically the Super Saiyan 3 Goku where they earn Macho Vegeta, where the more orbs they get and stuff like that, um, the more uh, the more orbs and stuff like that they get, the more like they're gonna keep um getting um they're gonna be effective against all types and they're gonna attack defense or just keep going or gonna keep going up and up and up. Um, so yeah, that's cool though. So let me see her. So if we should go Super Saiyan 2. She, yeah, Miss Damage. Nothing really changed here. Um, keep us 2. Oh, their passive completely changes right now. I'm number 1. That's nice. Um, keep us 2 and attack um, in defense plus 160. And uh, attack defense plus 160. When we're launching a super attack, um, high chance of evading enemies attack performs an additional super attack when clicking 6 or more first. Links don't change active in Great Spirits. Uh, probably I got active skills and stuff like that. Um, can, um, okay, her active skills and stuff like that. So yeah, see, I'm able to activate it when um, these Pearsons, um, uh, Pearsons are universal survival saga enemy only once. Okay, that's really easy though. Um, her ability, she changes physical to STR, if I attack defensive against all types for one turn. That's insane that she really is, I'm gonna go for Kefla Riku. She's insane. So, so basically she's in Janemba, and again, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and Tech Majin Vegeta. She's basically like that combined, and like she's gonna be good for all those teams. Her links are gonna be perfect. She's insane. She really is an insane unit, though. She probably, she probably is going to be, like, surpassing. She's probably going to be in that tier where Beerus, Bardock, and I want to say Cooler are. She's probably in that, like, mixed-up tier there. I feel like she's going to end up being like that. Of course, we're going to get her, her data download, and, of course, her whatever super attacks. Her data download is going to be insane. So, yeah, that's really insane. The Vados is nice. Um, I did like the highlight. It's going to be a little bit more easier for you guys. Yeah, Kill and Kalifa, they didn't really change that much for um, either, but they're both really insane. Vados, man, this update's huge, though, for all these um, categories and units. They all badly needed it. Like, no lies, they all badly really needed it. In my opinion, they really did need it, though. But they're all insane, though, by the way. Like, Kefla, her... I can talk about her all day. Like, her... Like, doing that, like, when, um... can be activated when you're fighting the Pure or... Your versus survival saga enemy, you can see that all the time. You can see her active skill all the time. She's gonna be, she's gonna change physical. Like, I'm kind of like her, um, like her physical counterpart did, uh, where she changed these orbs. Like, she's gonna change physical to STR, and she's gonna be attack effective against all type for that one turn. Her active skills is, her active skills pretty, it's simple, it's straight to the point, it's good, it's awesome. Again, though, simple, straight to the point. Um, again, though, like, nothing really that much for that, but, um, that's really good though for her though. She really um didn't need the buff. It's really nice. Um yeah, like only um it says um it's um transforming upon um entering the next attacking turn. So I guess like you know the next turn and stuff like that. She'll um wait HP on sixty percent or below or above, which that it really isn't that bad. It could have been a lot worse, but her um transformation and stuff like that really isn't that bad. Um Again, though, not really that bad. She's insane. Her attack defense are going to keep going up and up and up. She's going to be tanking. She's going to be doing a lot of damage. She's going to be good for all the teams. Um, again, though, I can spend all day. Vitals is going to be good for all her teams as well. Um, like, she, again, though, she's going to be insane for all her teams. She's going to be buffing all those allies and categories. Um, Kill and Khalifa are already going to be discussing. Again, though, you're going to run them. And you can run her and all of these guys on the same team. So they're all good. This is probably going to be like one of the best teams in the game. Universe 6 needed it. Paris Hanging's got another good buff. Form of God's got another good buff for Vados. She's insane, though. Again, though, they really did not need Awakening. But they're both all really good, though. But yeah. All right, we want to go though today again though we got Duck Fest teaser for Kefla. We got lots of new stuff for Kefla. Kale and Khalifa, um, the video went on a little bit longer than I thought. We got lots of new stuff for all these guys. Of course, though, um, 
Yeah, that's really it for for Kefla, though. There's a lot of new stuff coming out for her. Um, but yeah, a uh, video went on a little bit longer than I thought, but who cares? Who cares? You guys are here. It happens. You guys are enjoying it. I know you are. You little pieces of um, hyper's pod. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know how to say So yeah, see you guys later, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All the cool junk. Again, though, Kefla's insane. Her news are insane. She's insane. You know, I'm going to go over her more, like, you know, when she comes out and stuff like that. That's probably what I need to do. She, again, Aunt Janepa and Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, the Ant and Tech Majin Vegeta. She's basically all that, she's all that combined and more. She's like all that in the back of chips. So, um, if she would destroy the chips. But yeah. Um, not a bad unit. We all thought she was going to be bad because of transformation passive. We all thought she was going to keep transforming and forming. But, um, the first one's after three turns and then the second one is when um, you're attacking and your HP 60% or more. In that Pacific next turn. So, yeah. All good units. See you guys later though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good junk again though. See you guys later though again though. Peace out.